Hello everyone and welcome, this is The Apostate Prophet. I know many of you who listen to me think that Muslim apologists often lie to save their religion. Today, however, I want to present to you clear proof of edited footage by Muslim apologists from my interview with Bart Ehrman, which they edited, corrupted, in order to make it look like Bart Ehrman agreed with their views. The irony here is that Muslims accuse Christians and Jews of corrupting their scripture and corrupting the past in order to falsify their own beliefs, but here we have Muslim apologists openly corrupting, editing footage for their own narratives. And this footage was shared by so many people. Let's get right into it. That the immediate followers of Jesus, that the early Christians were basically Muslims, meaning they were they didn't hold any of these uh, heretical uh, Christian ideas, and they were completely in alignment with the Islamic religion and the Islamic way of thinking, of simply uh, regarding him as a prophet and worshiping uh, Allah Allah or God alone, and so on. Uh, what could you say about that? Um, so I would say that there are some elements of truth in that uh, historically, uh, and some some things I think I would consider to be problems. But um, on the basic level, the idea that the earliest followers of Jesus thought that he was a human uh, and that he worshipped only one God and they also worshipped only one God, I would say that that's true. Uh, that is true. What about the idea of uh, the Son of God? So according to this footage, Bart Ehrman basically says, yeah, well, that's true. You know, early, Christ early Christians were basically Muslims. And then the footage moves on to the next question and answer. Now let's look at the actual footage. Um, so I would say that there are some elements of truth in that uh, historically. Uh, and some some things I think I would consider to be problems. But um, on the basic level, the idea that the earliest followers of Jesus thought that he was a human uh, and that he worshipped only one God and they also worshipped only one God, I would say that that's true. Uh, that is true. I think that these earliest Christians, though, right after his death, uh, uh, believed that God had raised him from the dead and taken him up to heaven. And in the ancient... ancient um, uh, views, whether it's Greek or Roman or Christian or Jewish, these ancient views, if somebody's taken up to heaven, they're, they're living with God. They are made immortal so they don't die again, unlike everyone else who dies again. Um, the, an immortal, immortal is just another name for gods in, in ancient Greek. Greek. Uh, Jesus was made immortal, and I think that according to his followers, and so they, they started worshiping him. They didn't worship him as the one only God, but he was a he was a being who was uh, who deserved worship, and so they considered him to be the Lord whom they worshipped. And I think that happened early on. But they understood that during his life he was a human. Mm -hmm. uh, they would they would not have agreed with most of the tenets of Islam that differ from Christianity, um, in my judgment. They that that I don't think is right historically. Mm -hmm. But so the deification or uh, turning Jesus into a god would then have uh, begun due to the crucifixion and due to uh, stories about the crucifixion within a lifetime of the crucifixion, basically. Yeah, well, yeah. But I would say at the resurrection, I would say that what happened is you know he got crucified. Lots of people were getting crucified, but the difference in his case is his followers came to think that he was raised from the dead, and it's not that he had a near death experience. You know, it's not that he died and came back for a while and died again. In their view, he was raised. God raised him from the dead and took him up to heaven, and that that began. That was the deification. Mm -hmm. Later Christians then started saying, "Well, he he didn't get deified at the resurrection. He had he'd been God from the time he was born." And so you start getting these ideas of the virgin birth. And then people say, "Well, actually, he was God before he was born." And then you and so you know so the development developing understanding of Christ uh, happens over time. Uh, but the earliest Christians, I did, did not think he pre-existed, did not think he was born of a virgin. They thought he was a great teacher who was more righteous than anyone else that God had, had made into a divine being. That is just horrible. It's damning. I asked Bart Ehrman this question very deliberately because I know what he thinks. I know about his research. So in the actual footage, in the actual uncut, unedited interview, he clearly responds to me saying that the early Christians, the immediate followers of Jesus, began worshipping him. They started worshipping him. He says that while he was alive, they did not literally worship him. They thought he was a great teacher who was more righteous than anyone else that God had, had made into a divine being. 
And whether you agree with that or not is besides the point. He says after Jesus dies and is resurrected, they start deifying him and turning him into a god. And then over the centuries, ideas develop on how he is divine, why he is divine, when he became divine, what his role in the divinity is, and so on. Which clearly means that the early Christians, his immediate followers, were not what Muslims would call Muslims. Cutting this part out and only presenting the early part, in which he doesn't even fully answer my question, is nothing but sheer dishonesty, corruption, it's a lie. This Muslim apologist here clearly lies about me and about Bart Ehrman in order to validate their own Islamic positions, in order to make it look like Bart Ehrman agrees with the Islamic point of view, when he clearly doesn't. If it is not a lie, then what is it? I now want to ask these people and these Muslim apologists, why do you lie and why do you corrupt footage? Does it disturb you that Bart Ehrman, who doesn't agree with Christianity at all, comes to a scholarly conclusion that entirely disagrees with the core ideas of Islam. Do you guys see and agree that the early Christians worshipped Jesus and that worshipping Jesus and considering him the son of God in a sense, considering him divine in a sense, was always part of Christianity? Where exactly then do you fit in the entire narrative that Christians were, at some point, righteous. The Islamic narrative is nonsense. It engages in baseless revisionism of Christian history. You try to say that those Christians who worship Jesus are disbelievers who will go to hell forever, and that actual Christians, real Christians, or early Christians were loyal followers of the one true God, Allah, but that is simply not historically true. Please stop lying to the public. Stop lying to yourselves. It's horrible. Feel free to spread this, everyone. Thank you for watching and stay away from Islam.